going on internet? I am back for another video and I know you're all ecstatic about it. You've all been waiting for it, patiently, because you know it's Wednesday, Matt's posting another vid, everyone's yeah, ready for that. <laughs> I wish, I wish. But today's video is something that's pretty relatable to any student, high school student, university student, bloody primary school student, preschool student, you know, everyone can relate to it. Because this theory is the four stages of assessment slash exams. Is this theory has been on, been living for eternity, all the way back to the dinosaurs? Because you know, when Littlefoot or any of the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park you got handed a bloody exam, they were like, oh, the four stages are coming. So that is totally what happened. That's 100% real. I swear. Anyway, so with the four stages, I guess we can just get straight into it. The first stage, when you get given your assessment or exam time is the bloody denial stage. To start things off, before I explain the denial stage, I would like my good friend Macklemore to uh, just summarise how everyone feels when you get first given the assignment, because you're all in confidence. Walk into the club like, what up, I got a big pack. I'm just pumped, I bought some shit from a thrift shop. Thanks for that, Marco Royce. So the denial stage, you get given the assessment and, and or exam time. You look at it, you're like, yeah, no worries, I got this under control. It's all good, it's all good in the hood. You start busting out rhymes. You think, you're going to go like, oh, it's two weeks it's due. You know what, this time I'm actually going to do it before, a couple weeks before it's due. I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to do it. But of course, it's the denial stage for a reason because nobody ever actually does that. As time goes by, it's now a week before the assessment's due or a week before your exams. And it's the anger stage. And the anger stage is bloody dangerous, I'm telling you. Because you're on the brink of exploding like a fucking nuclear bomb, okay? It doesn't have to be anything related to the exam or assessment either. You know, you just get angry over everything because it's affecting how you live. It's ruining your day, ruining your week. You go downstairs and you open the fridge. You look for food like one does. And your mum comes past and your mum's like, Hello darling, what are you doing? And that sets you off. That sets you off. You just go off and you're like, you f what? You just roasted your mum for no reason whatsoever. And you look at the assessment, which is not a good thing to do when you're angry. You shouldn't do that, but you just do. Uh, and you're angry with yourself, you're angry with the assessment, and you're just not a pleasant person to deal with. It's about four or five days before the assessment's due and your anger stage is starting to die off. You know, you don't try not to kill anyone because you turn into the most violent person on the planet. The next stage is in fact, depression. Okay, so you're in bed, and suddenly everything just turns into the bloody notebook. Okay, I haven't seen the notebook, so I don't know if this comparison is correct or not. In fact, I actually don't think it has anything to do with the notebook. There is no relation whatsoever. What I was trying to say is, it's a bloody chick flick. You're in bed, you're scooping up the ice cream with bloody four tablespoons. You're down in that. You're in bed, you're just sobbing and crying, and you look at the assessment and you sob and you cry some more. It's a bit of a drastic change, isn't it? Because when you're angry, you're going off at everyone, so it's a bit social. You know, you're still getting that social aspect of your life, whereas when you're depressed and you're in bed, yeah, you're not talking to anyone. How long? We're going to say two days, it could be one day, and this, you're finally out of the depression stage. You, you open your bedroom door for the first time, and it's the acceptance stage. You pick up the assessment, or textbook to study and you look at it and you know you're in trouble you know you, <laughs> you know you're in trouble because it's due in a day you don't you look at the assessment sheet and you don't react you have no emotion you don't you're not cocky like when you're in denial stage like you're gonna do it you're not gonna explode on it like you're angry and you're not gonna cry over it like you're depressed because you're just gonna look at it and you know what you're about to produce is going to be a hell of a lot more of a disaster than the Red Wedding. But you accept it, you know. You know the dross you're about to produce is dross. But in saying that, in the acceptance stage, who knows, maybe you turn up and you uh, perform better under pressure and you produce something that is absolutely incredible, maybe. Or you can, you know, just totally bottle it and give some half-assed essay in, you know, that could be it as well. So that were the four stages of assessment slash exams. You know, I think everyone can relate to it. <laughs> Maybe not to the extent I did. I may have exaggerated it a little bit, just a little bit. But in a, in a fact, when you do get your assessment, you really do look at it like you were going to do it. 
that day. And then you do get, it does really affect you if you don't do it. It gets to your head if you don't, it, it does mentally affect you. So I wasn't all that wrong. No, but uh, any university student watching this or high school student, uh, you got exams coming up. Good luck to you guys. Absolutely perform when it comes to the acceptance stage. That's where you thrive. And in about a week, I'll be done my exam. So thank you guys very much for watching. We'll catch you next time. I just said wheel. I don't know. Wow. I, I will catch you next time.